Good morning from Kerr, Switzerland. This is the view out of my window because it's daylight now. I can see where I am. And down the street, and there's a little cafe. It is Wednesday, September 19th. Hang with me today. It's going to be fun. Good morning. I already said good morning, but I've had my breakfast and my coffee and I'm feeling a lot better. So I'm getting ready to explore Kerr, but I wanted to show you um, the, the building I'm in is from 1465. And this is uh, the restaurant. And it's one of four remaining guild halls in Kerr. So um, and kind of show you, it is absolutely gorgeous. Um, and the ceiling is spectacular. And then I'm gonna show you the breakfast room I had breakfast in. And this is the breakfast room. And again, just beautiful wooden ceilings, beautiful light fixtures, and it's a great day out, yay! And I just came down the stairs, and I love, this is an ancient building, but what's really interesting is they have a cigarette machine. Whoa. And here is the little plaza. This is what I see when I come out the door. This charming fountain. Uh, Kerr is the oldest town in Switzerland. And I think I'm going to head, a very bright sunshine, head to one of the museums that has a whole bunch of historical stuff. And then, fountain, and that is my hotel. Sundhaf sur Blüten. Yeah, I think I said that right. I don't know, five years of German, I can't, I can say hello. I stopped in the Tourist Information Center and got the skinny on the town. So my hotel is in the old town. Um, this is actually the main street of the old town. My hotel's on a side street. And we're gonna go visit the sites. It's a gorgeous day. It's probably about 68 degrees. It's perfect. Okay. The chimes are chiming. It's 11 o'clock, I think. I don't know. My, my watch has 10.58, but Swiss timing's perfect, so. Oh, dong, dong. Okay, more, more bells, more chimes. So I should have known this. This was the city hall, uh, or I guess it still is, but it's been used since before the 1400s because the sign on the wall says there was a fire and it had to be rebuilt in several parts and anyway and the chimes continue or the bells all right i found the source of the big ding dongs uh this is one of the old churches i'm going to go in i'll tell you about it after i go in i am in saint martin's church uh, they've got some beautiful contemporary stained glass windows. And again, this is another building that was built in the 1400s. They really did a good job of taking care of it. <laughs> I mean, all these buildings. Okay, moving on. I am on my way to the cathedral. And I have to go through there, which looks pretty cool and old. And lots of steps. <laughs> but that's okay. I was on a plane for a long time yesterday. And I have been rewarded from my climb to get to the cathedral. And I just turned around. I'm at the entrance of the cathedral. And this is what I see. And I'm inside the cathedral. It's a really interesting mix of very natural colors and stone and concrete. 
but then very uh, intensely decorated areas. Wow. And it's not, you can't really tell because of the lighting. Let me see if I can get around these lights. Oh, like these are beautiful. And I'm at the very back of the church. And this must be the high altar. The altarpiece is just glorious. And the wood, oh my gosh. And again, the lighting kind of, um, I don't know, washes out the effects, but I love the very contemporary organ uh, next to the all this ancient <laughs> construction. Wow. And the stained glass is just gorgeous. All right, I am in the treasure museum of the cathedral. Um, it's at a house next door that was, I don't know, part of the church complex. And I'm in the basement. And these are a famous series of woodcuts called the Images of Death. And they date back to the 1500s. So I'm just gonna go down here real quick. Um, they almost look like they're paintings. Um, you can see the skeleton dancing. That's the one common theme through all of them. And I just dropped my papers, but I'll go back and get them. Um, down here, they're, they're not as well restored. But this is, I don't know, I've been doing some reading about it. Um, it's the most complete series of these kinds of depictions of death dancing. Um, yeah, yeah, the skeletons coming, coming and hanging out with everybody. Wow. And that looks like a dog. All right, I'm in this interesting basement. And here's the basement. Here's the basement area that these images of death are in. Um, those are quite some stairs. Uh, th this is a modern section in the middle that was put in to preserve them. Very interesting. Walking, I'm, I'm gonna be walking towards the uh, gondola or the uh, lift up the mountain and this is oh gosh as I'm leaving gorgeous and sometimes you just never know what you'll run into when you're walking around here's a bunch of Barbies with I think it's a Swiss textile display but that's pretty cool I am continuing my walk around Kru, and this is a bakery that I feel like I need to come back to. Um, looking down the street, and then there's this charming fountain by the Hemingway Cafe. And then this is one of the towers that's left from the medieval gates of the city. So this is old. And there is this beautiful, oh, sorry about the finger, a uh, beautiful alpine stream running through with gorgeous flowers. Oh my gosh, it looks like Switzerland, right? And here is the view from the other side of the bridge. I'm going to walk over that little pedestrian bridge. I'm heading for the cable car up the mountain. I have made it up. I have made it up to the top of the first change, and in my in the um, cable car cabin, there were all these people with their mountain bikes. So they're going up to the top, and they're going to ride to the bottom. Okay, let's see if we can see this this process going on. They're hanging it up on the hook, and then they're going up. 
This is interesting. And there they go with their mountain bike. And up. I have made it to the top. We had to change in the middle. Um, well, yeah, you saw that in the last video. And uh, I'm gonna head off to Brambouche and see what there is down there. Up in the Alps, I'm in this little area now where the finger, a little train. So I guess during the season they have a little train, but it's September, so no train. And there's signposts, more than likely. I will walk to Brambouche and back since it's only 15 minutes. Everything else seems a bit. But again, a lot of people come up with their bikes and they just ride. So here's, uh, here's the vista around me. And there's like little settlements with houses. I don't know. So I'm heading on this path for Brambouche. And I'm feeling like I need to break into music. I break into song and sing the sound of music, but I'll spare you that. So we got some little goats there. There's another, there's a chairlift. I'm guessing there's some skiing up there. And the, the young man I rode up on the chairlift with, which is a mountain bike, bike, said they had snow last week. So there's some remnants of snow. And I'm going to stop here for a little snack. Snack in the Alps. Okay, I see a red squirrel. Okay, I kind of cut my red squirrel thing off, but um, seriously, how many beautiful out pictures <laughs> am I going to end up with this week? Wow. Getting ready to head back down to the town, though. Okay. This is Jimmy Dean singing Big John at this hotel up in Switzerland. You never know. And there's a black squirrel. I'm, I'm catching all kinds of uh, wildlife up here. Okay. Oh my gosh. I'm in the littler cable car. Um, there's some mountain bikers um, heading down. I guess I'll... Ah! I'm not going to stand up. <laughs> wow. But I will move up this way. So there's Kerr there. Kerr. I'm not sure how you pronounce it. I don't know. Um, and I did see some cows on the way up. So I love Swiss cows. You know, I get those little bells around their necks. All right. We're gonna film cows when I see them. And we have lots of cows. Oh my gosh, they're right under, <laughs> under the little uh, gondola thing. I'm gonna see if I can stick my hand out. There's a little sort of an open window here. Oh, you hear the bells, I hear the bells. Oh my gosh. Cows, cows, cows. I don't know if you can hear the bells. Let's see. Okay, this is that little community on the side of a mountain. And I guess it's raining up that little valley, even though the sun is shining. Um, and we're getting ready to see some more cows. Oh, this is pretty. And more Swiss cows. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. And but ha, the plexiglass is so marked up that my camera is getting the plexiglass. And here we are um, at the intermediate spot where I have to change uh, cable cars into the larger one, and that's the view. On the way down from the second cable. Yeah, 
no mountain bikes this time. So I did a real quick tour of this Ratish, Ratish. Oh, I am not pronouncing that right. <laughs> my, my German pronunciation is gone. Ratish Museum? I don't know. Um, it was a former manor house. It was built in the 1600s and it's been changed into a museum of the region. It is dusk in Kur, and I went to this hotel, Hotel Stern, to eat in their restaurant, and it was excellent. Not inexpensive, but excellent. Oh, and look what's next door to the hotel. It's a kirche or a church. <laughs> and then this is, I'm just gonna kind of wander back. I ate so much, I am very uncomfortable. So I'm just going to slowly wander back to the hotel. It actually feels <laughs> like I have the whole town to myself, or at least the old town. It's very quiet. There's a lovely fountain. The town has beautiful fountains. And, like I said, I might have to walk for about 20 minutes. I ate a ton. Interesting dishes here, local specialties, and I can't even pronounce them. I'll look them up. I'll tell you what they are later. Well, I was going to do the sign off while I was walking back to the hotel, but I forgot. Uh, so end of the day, first full day in Switzerland. It was wonderful. Buy the shoes. Eat the cake because it's so good. Kustort here in Chur. Oh, oh, so good. And take the trip because see the world, see your brothers and sisters around the world. Have a good night and I'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow's going to be a good adventure. Talk to you later. Bye.